Hey everybody, this is Dal Stone here, and today I just wanted to do another Q and A uh, video, and this time um, Mel Leo, uh, sorry if I mispronounced that, asks, uh, "Would you mind sharing your specs of the computer you are using?" And uh, and I told him in the comment section, "Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that," and that I promised him I'd, I'd make a video um, to answer his question. So um, here are my notes. I have. Uh, I, I I try and write down all the stuff that I upgrade and change throughout the years, or I started doing this five years ago. And so five years ago, I built this computer that I'm recording right now on. It's uh, March 8th of 2012. So it's been five years since I built this computer. I put an i7 in there, uh, which is quad core, super old Sandy Bridge, blah, blah, blah. Um, motherboard, uh, micro ATX, which I super regret and will not be going with a micro ATX ever again in the, in the future, just because it's so small, it limits um, a bunch of things, uh, and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is me, I actually upgraded my computer at this time. I kept the same power supply, kept the same computer case, and the computer case I've had since college. Uh, this computer I built back in college, uh, 2006 and I still have the same case and same power supply um, and then the graphics card uh, was um, a GTX 580 uh, I'm using Windows 7 okay uh, so yeah so you'll see um, the specs here as well and this is uh, from Specky it's a, it's a little program that I Downloaded. It's pretty cool. Kind of shows you a bunch of different things. Uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Super old, right? Like this. This computer. It's pretty old. It's really old. Um, it's using an SSD. I actually put this SSD a couple years ago, actually, and I didn't write it down, which is unfortunate. Um, and I forgot to. But I actually put in an SSD drive because I was getting frustrated with the boot up. It was taking too long to boot with just a regular hard drive, so I put in an SSD drive. Um, and yeah, so that's my so that's my PC, and this is what I use a lot when I'm doing videos, when I'm working at home. Um, and then I have a laptop which I purchased in 2016, which was last year. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't get to use it as much, even though it's a more powerful machine. Um, I just don't. If I have a PC setup that's comfortable, I don't want to just use a laptop unless I have to. Uh, so, so yeah, so here on my laptop, purchased last year, it's using Windows 10, 64-bit, it's an i7, uh, more up-to-date i7, uh, 2.6 gigahertz, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM as well. Here it says that it doesn't know, uh, what kind of RAM, it's actually DDR4 RAM, um, and it's using, graphics card-wise, it is a GTX 960, uh, M for mobile. And again, it also has an SSD drive and a one terabyte hard drive. So, it's um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty beefy laptop. Uh, it's it's a gaming laptop for sure. Um, so I wanted to kind of now kind of share some of my recommendations for some of you who might be learning, coming up as 3D artists. Uh, what I recommend you guys, right? Obviously, minimum is an i5 quad core right like minimum i think is an i5 if you're just like modeling and not doing too much rendering and stuff like that an i5 should be fine uh obviously i recommend a little bit of a higher end one like an i7 okay um honestly if you go to like dell.com or uh you go to asus uh msi lenovo like any of those you know high-end um Manu not manufacturers, but like brands, you know, and you go to like the gaming section uh, and you want to get a gaming laptop or a gaming computer, that is the minimum, okay? That is the minimum. That should be what you, that's what I like highly recommend. Obviously, if you can't get something like that because you're maybe you're a student, you don't have a job, whatever it may be, um, just get a good, you know, all in one PC right that has the flexibility of being upgraded you know so maybe you pick up a part-time job or something and then you have like you saved up like 300 dollars, right you throw in a really nice um 1080 graphics card or something like that 
uh, and then that way you get to kind of build it. If you're really into this kind of stuff, uh, like I was really into this, when I got into this industry, I got a lot of advice where it's like, hey, your, your, your computer is kind of like your bloodline, right? Like without a good computer, lots of things start to get bottlenecked. If you're rendering and it's lagging, if you're creating textures and like you can't, you know, because your computer can't um, process what's going on, if you're like sculpting in ZBrush and your every stroke is causing issues, that's actually gonna hurt you. And sometimes there's that saying, right? You have to spend money to make money. And this is very important, especially for your PC. Some people hesitate and it's like, ah, do I really wanna spend $2,000 on a high-end PC? And I mean, I was like that too, right? Um, at the time, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save money by learning how to build my own computer. Back in the day, YouTube wasn't as big. Uh, nowadays you can search up so many different websites that can teach you how to build computers and put computers together there's like PC build uh, website that like tells you what is compatible with what and where you can get the best deals and this and that and it's like back in the day I didn't have any of that I had to do my own research and all that stuff so uh, the time to learn is now I think um, if you want to get into it and you save money by building your own stuff and not only that you're learning right like for me with this PC, uh, when it it it's old, right? I'll be super honest with you guys. I need an upgrade. Like I should be upgrading, right? And it's not that I don't have money because I, I mean I I can't afford to to upgrade my computer. I chose to purchase a laptop because of um, I I want to I want to be able to be mobile. Uh, when my daughter was born. I wasn't sure what was going to happen with like me recording videos, me having my own personal time to work on my portfolio and stuff like that. So I wanted to be mobile. I wanted to be like, okay, if I wanted to do it to to work on my portfolio at lunchtime, I could bring in my laptop, go to a private room and just work on my portfolio. Um if I wanted to Come in to work a little bit earlier to work on my portfolio. I, like I had that opportunity to have that chance to just do it anywhere, no problems, right? So that's why I chose to get a laptop, and uh, that's why I'm not rushing to upgrade my PC. But yes, I understand this PC. It's old. It's pretty ancient. It, it was good five years ago. Now it's considered like not very high. Uh, still high enough. Uh, to work on 3D stuff, but I'll be honest with you guys. If my graphics card craps out on me tomorrow, I'm I'll, I'll go and I'll buy a 1080. Like, like that. That's my excuse. I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna go buy a 1080. If um I try to render something and it's taking like 10 minutes to render like a frame, oh yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll get a new CPU. I'll get a new motherboard, and I'll um i might even get a new computer case because this computer case is so old now with all the new computer cases out there all the modular ways that you can do things where like you just pop in your hard drive like literally just pop it in um because it's so modular now it's like like computer cases nowadays when i'm helping friends and i watch my brother or whatever build his computer i'm like holy cow that computer case is so awesome because of how you can tie your wires and they have like, all these compartments and stuff like that um it makes building computers so much easier so yeah trust me in a couple years i'll this computer is going to be gone for sure um so yeah i think investing in a good computer is completely worth it your career relies on it um freelancing whatever it may be you don't want any legs you don't want any holdups obviously like i said if you're on a budget get a computer that has decent enough specs that will get the job done right but try and get something that's flexible okay um what else is there uh so yeah so just some quick re rec recommendations obviously i7 i think is minimum i know at um my studios there were we all had zions intel zions which is like workstation stuff and that's like super high-end cpus uh at least 16 gigs of ram at least 16 gigs of ram in your computer uh, 32 gigabytes is ideal uh, one SSD drive you gotta have at least one SSD drive to boot up your computer like 
I just couldn't handle waiting like a minute for my computer to load up anymore. So I had to get an SSD. Computer now boots up in like 10 to 15 seconds, right? Awesome. Uh, obviously one big hard drive, at least one terabyte nowadays. Um, a minimum of two gigabytes on your graphics card, dedicated memory. Um, and then sometimes I get this question, PC or Mac? Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, my whole career so far in the gaming industry, I have not used a Mac. So you guys can take that however you guys want it. Um, yeah, I've just I've only used PC, so my comment honestly doesn't really have too much weight. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I really hope that that helps you guys and um, gives you guys a little bit of information on why it's important to have a good PC um and uh what is a good pc for 3d animation uh and games so thank you guys so much again leave any comments and questions uh, or leave your questions in the comment section and i'll try and do a little bit more of these videos like i said it's a little bit easier for me to do these videos it's quicker for me to just shoot out and um so yeah see you guys again next time take care hey everybody if you enjoyed that video please like comment subscribe and check out all my other videos.